Good morning, everybody. This is Jillian Bamford with Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness. Thank you for joining me for my bar fitness class. All you're gonna need today is a stable surface, like a countertop, sturdy, heavy chair, or maybe you have an at-home bar, maybe a railing, mantle, um, just something for our bar work, and then um, two, one to three pound weights. Um, I'm also probably gonna utilize my Pilates ball, but if you don't have that, no worries. Um, you can actually use, if it's a little bit softened, um, if you have kids, like one of those playground balls, that would work out just fine. But if you don't have anything, no worries. Just grab your mat, um, you probably have that. And uh, let's get started. We'll go through our warm up, upper body, and then hit the bar, then come back to the mat for our mat work, and then cool down. Let's do this before it gets too hot out. So go ahead, straddle your mat. We're going to take our wider second position, thinking about lengthening the entire body from the crown of the head. Nice rounded arms in front of the shoulders. You have that nice slope. You can tuck those thumbs in. Knees are going to track over the toes as we lower down. So as I'm doing this, those shoulders over the hips. So this is not a squat. We don't want to be pressing those hips back, weight in the heels, weights evenly distributed here. Pretend you have those two panes of glass, keeping you nice and in here. Maybe not take the plie as low if you feel any discomfort. Knee tracks over the toes. Make sure those legs are lined up with each other. We're standing nice and tall, abs pulled in. Four, three, we're gonna hold it at the bottom, two. Hold it right here, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here, reach nice and long through those fingertips. To one side, back to center, plie down again, other side. And then come back to center, plie down again, drop that right shoulder, then the left. One more each side. Messed my music up here, I'll have to look at that. All right, we're gonna play it down again, step touch. So push off, opposite leg, point the toe. Just a couple here, getting ourselves warmed up. Stay with it, Lloyd. There we go. Keeping that nice tall chest. Four, three, two, last one. Shake it off, bring those feet hip width. Nice rounded arms in front of the ears, fifth position. Bring those abs in, lift up high knee. Doesn't have to be a high lift. So if it's too much, keep it nice and low. Four more, we add in our arms. Three, two, last one, add them in. Make sure you keep that ab engagement here while you're doing this. Don't let it go just because we're incorporating those arms. And breathe. Four. Three, two, last one. We're gonna go into our front kicks. I'm gonna step it back. I always end up traveling a little bit here. It's fifth position arms. So you're gonna leap with the knee, snap the foot up. Four, 
Keep those abs in. Nice and controlled movement. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Add in those arms. Keep breathing. Lots of water, especially on this humid day. Not that I'm complaining. Whew, four, three, two, last one. Shake it off. Make sure you have water, lots of water today. So we're gonna grab your light weights and do a little balance work. So we're gonna start in a nice tight parallel position. I want you to bring those heels and toes into touch. Thighs are zipped up, abs are pulled in. Shoulders down and back, lengthening through the crown of the head. You're gonna rock back on those heels to your natural first position. So don't expect to be right here. You're probably gonna feel some tightness in those hips. Bring it back in. Just looking for a V position. So you don't want to be in parallel. Natural first position. So from here, again, this is balance work. So there's a couple options. We're diving right in. So it's going to be a little bit challenging. I'll give you an option. So we're going to take our cheerleading stance. So that raised arm, I want you to trace that leg up while keeping the hips square, like their headlights, right? Shining forward, leg is turned out, big toe, we're not talking tree pose, big toe towards inside to opposite knee. Abs pulled in, if this is too much, you can drop it to the floor or bring it lower. I don't want that hip opening. So you have that external rotation here, hips are squared. Here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna crunch it in with that arm, squeeze, extend. And again, if it gets too much or you lose balance, you can come right back into it or modify it. Make it yours. Ooh, I'm cramping up there with my feet. <laughs> I'm probably gonna take the modification for a moment. We're gonna do four more of these, and then we're gonna add in our leg extension as well. Three, two, Last one. So if you're modifying, you might want to stay here. I'll give you a couple options. Full version, we extend, squeeze in. Extend, squeeze in. Extend, squeeze in. Need to modify it. You can squeeze it up, drop it to the floor. Let's do this. We've got eight. Ooh, and then we got to switch sides. Squeeze it in, extend. Seven, six, five. I'm going to fall over today. Whew. Almost there. Here to the other side, the right. Four, three. Oh, dear. I'm getting that those cramps in my foot today. Last one. Hold it. And release. Whew. Other side. Cheerleading stance, as I like to call it. Trace that leg up. So I want you to make sure that the leg doesn't come parallel. But we're not opening that hip, right? Keep it lower or modify. Squeeze that arm in and out. In and out. There goes my music again. Having technical difficulties here. Maybe my earphones die. Let's check. Bye, everyone. Huh. Bye. Keep going. Huh. All right. Well, I'm having an issue with my. All right. Well, I'll go back to it. From here, take a little balance. Bring that arm in, and we're going to extend, bend. Extend, 
bend. So watch as you come in that you're not bringing that leg into parallel. And if you need to modify again, you're gonna just tap it to the floor. Whew. Four, abs are in, three, two, hold, and release. Take one more look at this. So we're actually gonna come right back to that position. All right, well, have to do this. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but so back into your passe position. Again, if you need to modify, you can hold it here. And we're gonna do some tabletop biceps. So I want you to make sure that the elbows are lined up with the shoulders. We're gonna curl it in. Keeping it nice and strong, no dropping. If you're dropping those elbows, I want you to go ahead and put the weights down and just work against your own body weight. So let's start right side. Whew. Can we hold this for 20? Two, three, four, abs are in, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten to go, here we go. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, with control, five, four, three, two, and one. Release, gotta get that other side. Again, if it's too much, drop it down to the mat. Here we go. Hips are squared. Two, three, four, Five, so keep going. I want you to make sure that that supporting leg is really pressed into that mat. Because what's gonna happen is we're gonna shimmy and shake, right? And that's okay, that comes with the territory. Stay strong, think about pressing that foot. Like it's a, you're a nice tree, right? Rooting that foot into the floor. Whew, let's do 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, oh dear, two, last one, and release it. Put the weight down. Bring your palms facing away from you. Gently press down on those fingertips. And then if you're still feeling some tightness in those legs, Take a quick figure four stretch. And then we're gonna go back on balance here. So again, there's plenty of options. So for our shoulder work, heels together, toes apart. So start in that tight parallel, nice and lengthen. Thighs lift up, abs are in, shoulders down and back. Think about lengthening. Through the neck, through the crown of the head. We're nice and tall. I'm gonna rock back on those heels, natural first position. So before we go up on demi point, if it's too much, stay here, first position plie. Feet stay planted into the mat. You can also lose your weight. So if at any time your form's suffering, I want you to put the weights down or I want you to come flat on the feet or both. Otherwise, with straight legs in our first position, we're gonna walk the heels together so they kiss. Plie down two inches, little tuck. So I'm just bringing that pelvis in a neutral position, tailbone towards the floor, abs are in. And I'm gonna extend my arms, make sure I'm okay here, make sure I'm, I'm balanced, I'm not rocking all over the place, my abs are in. We're gonna start little circles, eight forward.
nice and slow. So I want you to watch those legs, make sure they don't buckle in. Keep that diamond shape, keep that triangle position. Oh dear, I see construction vehicles outside. Might get loud if that, if not, the kids will be fighting, I'm sure, but whew. Three, two, last one, start reversing direction. Now I just caught myself there, so if you see your heels dropping down like this, you need to lock down on those ankles. If that's not in the cards for you, which a lot of people it might not be, come flat. Don't do halfway because that's how you can hurt yourself. So it's hard, really hard to hurt yourself in bar. It's all about safety precautions, making sure you have the right form over reps. So we're doing the other direction here. Four, three, two, last one. Hold it here. Little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Bring those palms to face forward. We're gonna squeeze it in, landing just behind the back and extend. Elbow dips. Again, if you need to modify, drop those weights or drop the feet, keep them planted into the mat. Stay with me. Take a few more here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, and then bring it back out. Flex the hands and bend. Motorcycle wrist here. And weights again are optional. Don't hold on to them for pride, especially in the comfort of your own home. Whew. Four, three, two, hold it here. Whew. And then we're gonna come out again, make a fist or hold on to those weights. And we're gonna pulse it down and up. So do a little pulse with the arm up. So a little pulse to the lower body, on the way up, a little pulse up. Up, up, up. Four, three, two, hold. And release for a moment. Shake it out. From here, we're going to come out to a second position. So if you have your mat, you can just go ahead and straddle the mat. And we're going to plie down. Again, if that's too much, stay the top of your plie, soft bend in the knee. And extend the arms to the front, squeeze them back in a high row. Squeeze those shoulder blades, squeeze those back muscles. Abs are in. Now, as you're rowing, you keep rowing. I want to make sure you're not leaning forward doing this. Remember, panes of glass, like we're a sandwich, right? You're the cream filling of that Oreo. We have that nice flat back, but we're not tucking the pelvis. It's nice and neutral position here. We're not tucking it under. We're not pressing it back. How are we doing? Give me eight more here, and we'll switch our movements. I'm going to go into goal post. Nice and controlled. Four. Three, two, last one, hold it back. From here, bring it up, goal post. I want you to extend the legs on the way up, squeeze down. So in your goal post, elbow lined up with the shoulder. Abs are still in, this doesn't give us that excuse to go into a squat either. Proud chest, knees over toes. You have four, three, don't let those knees out on the way up, two, hold it here. Now we're gonna go forward, up, forward, up. With control, maybe take a deeper plie if we can. If you're good where you are, stay there. 
So this isn't the time to sag. If you're sagging, correct that form. If it's not happening for you, lose the weights. Four, three, two, last one. We're gonna bring the arms to the front. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Keep breathing, find that breath, maybe sink a little bit lower in that plie, but not into those hips. Equal distribution here. We're gonna alternate in four, three, two, hold, right, left, right, left, with control. Nice and strong. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Bring it back, goal post. Two more sets here. Draw it in like those magnets have elbows. And up. Eight, seven, six, strong arms. Five, four, three, Two, hold it in, press it up. Eight, seven, just the arms. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release, arm across the chest, stretch out those shoulders. To a set of triceps. And then we'll be on our way to the bar work. Other side. Taking a day off from tricep dips. All right, from here, if you need to stretch out anything else, go ahead and do that, grab a sip of water. We're gonna to come to our parallel position, and I'll probably go from the side so you can see me a little bit better. So feet hip width, bend in the knee, hinge slightly forward, abs pulled in, flat back. So we're not bent fully over here, and we're not upright. Abs are in. We're gonna press those palms back behind us. Pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up here. Micro pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring those palms to face in. We're gonna bring them into clap. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Abs pulled in the whole time, and if it's too much, go ahead and drop your weights. Watch that lower body too. You wanna to make sure that you're not bouncing up and down. Lower body is stable, abs are in. Squeeze, four, three, two, last one from here. Backs and hands come towards each other, and out, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we crisscross it. So fist over fist. Again, pick up those weights, or drop those weights, sorry, if it gets to be too much. Four, three, two, last one. Now from here, if you need to drop it for a sec, that's fine. Bring those shoulders down and back. Kick back position. So the elbow is gonna act like a hinge. You want those arms stable. Elbow acts like a hinge. Top part of the arm is not gonna move. Abs still pulled in. Extend back. And then squeeze back in. Nice and controlled here. Four, five, six. We're doing 16. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it here, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. From here, I want you to trace the right leg up, send it back, balance work. 
We're gonna do eight kickbacks here, then we do the left side. Then we're done with our upper body. Abs are in, hips are square to the floor. My foot is shaking, I'm with you. Eight, seven, six, five. Oh dear, if you fall over, get right back into it, or come back with both feet on the floor. Three, two, hold it back, and then slowly come back. Other side, trace that left leg up. I'm shaking all over the place. I'm there with you. Eight kickbacks, let's do this. Plant that supporting leg into the floor. Eight, seven, six. If you need to drop that leg down, that's fine too. Four, three, two, hold it. Keep that tricep engagement and release. Put the weights down, stretch out the triceps, and let's head to the bar. I'm gonna move my mat out of the way. Make sure you sip on that water, I'm sweating. Whew. We're gonna go right in to our bar work. Remembering our water. So we're gonna start parallel elevates or calf raises. So heels and toes are nice and zipped up. And actually, I'm gonna take this from the side because we're gonna add a little treat after one set. So if you need to take this, you wanna have some room because we're gonna be lifting the leg a little bit on each side. So if you need that extra room, side of the bar, or you can do it facing up to you. We're gonna be nice and tall here. So if we're from the side, our balance has to um, increase a little bit, right? We don't have that extra stability with both hands on the bar like we normally would. Heels and toes into touch, shoulders down and back, abs are in. Rib cage laced up like a corset, lengthen through the crown of the head. Like the tallest you've ever been. You can have a hand on the hip here, and we're just gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. So my feet are in parallel. If you need to modify, right out of the gate here, lift up halfway, drop it down. Decrease that range of motion. Good rule of thumb for most of our bar exercises here. Lift and lower, and then we're gonna add on. Stay tall here. Make sure we don't hinge forward. Abs are in. Eight more, we're gonna take our balance and then dig in. Five, four, three, to hold it up. See if you can balance. If you're not there yet, don't beat yourself up. Slowly drop it down. Now we're gonna lift. Passe the outside leg. So it's parallel though. So normally we have that external rotation. You're gonna trace it up. Lower back down and then drop those heels. Whew. So we lift, trace it up, drop it down. Just a few here, and then we're gonna do one leg, and we'll switch sides. Whew. Nice and strong. So we lift up, trace, back to center, and down. Lift, passe, center, and down. Lift, four more, passe, center, and down. Three, passe, center, and down. Two, last one. Now, you're gonna lift, trace that leg up. We've got eight one leg lifts. Are you ready? If this is too much, you can go back to what we were just doing or both legs. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. What I want you to watch out for, pressing into that supporting leg and that knee, don't do that. 
Nice and equally distributed here. Whew, four, three, two. Last one, maybe hold it up for a moment. Maybe balance. Lower it down, let's flip over. Go into our regular calf raises first. Gentle press on that bar. Heels and toes are touching. Abs are in. Shoulders down and back. They might be cutting trees in front of my house. Hopefully not, it'll get really loud. Nice and tall, lengthen through the crown of the head. One hand on the hip. We lift and lower. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four. Get ready to balance. Three, two, hold it at the top. See if you can take your little balance here. Drop it down. Now we lift, trace that leg up, center and down. Lift, passe, center and down. Stay strong. Your calves on fire. Four, three, one leg to the next, two. Last one. You can drop it down and then lift back up. Trace it up. One leg, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, release it, extend on the, jeez. Extend one leg back. Whew. Stretch it out. That was tough. Other side. Now if one, one side is feeling extra tight, keep that stretch there a little bit longer. We're going to go into our parallel plies. So I'm going to be facing the bar again. Heels and toes are touching, elbows distance from the bar. Abs are in, shoulders down and back. Nice and tall. If you need to modify, I want you to keep both feet flat on the floor. Otherwise, straight legs, we lift. We're going to plie down two inches, keeping those thighs together. And if we can, we're locking down on those ankles so we don't have the heels pressing towards the floor. Make sure we're tucked. Oops, tripping over my own feet here. It's a little tuck, so tailbone should be towards the floor. We're pulling up through the front of the abs, and then shoulders stay over the hips the whole time. We're gonna lower down, lift back up. Notice how I'm keeping a bend in my knee the whole time, so I'm not lifting all the way up. Home base, up. Nice and small plies here. But I'm keeping that form, making sure I'm not jutting my butt out and I'm not water skiing, right? Nice and aligned, shoulder lined up with the hips. How are we doing? We're just getting started. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, hold here. Maybe you can balance. Maybe you need to keep one hand on the bar, that's fine. Drop down one more inch. Little pulses. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight to go. Six, five, four, three, two, hold. Open, shut, you knew these were coming, oh dear. Open, shut, open, shut. Three, four, we got 16, five, six, seven, eight. Now if you get too tired, I know it's burning. You absolutely cannot do it, you're giving up on that form. Just come in back to that pulse. That can be your um, return. Every time you can't do another variation, just come back to that little pulse. Not that that's easy either, right? Eight more, we got this. Whew. Doing a little extra, we can do it, we're strong. Five, four, three, two, 
Last one. Glue those thighs together. Balance and release. Stretch out those quads. Other side. Now we're going to come to the side of the bar again before we do our other set of plie. So about an elbow distance from the bar, heels together, toes apart. We're nice and tall here. I'm going to tendu my outside leg. So it should be out to the side and behind you. So there should be a diagonal line, so it's not directly behind the hip. Nice diagonal line here. Proud chest. You can either lift one arm up or keep a hand on your hips. I want you to contract those glutes, lift and lower. Now I don't want you to lift the legs so much that you're tilting. Right? Proud chest, abs are in, lift and lower. Squeeze those glutes. If it's too much, nice small lift. Squeeze those glutes. Whew. Stay with me. Pulse is next. Four, three, two, hold it here. Little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, notice how I'm keeping that leg straight. So I'm activating that quad, I'm stretching through the back of the knee. I'm not going into an attitude position. Whew. From here, freeze that leg. We're gonna plie with a supporting leg. So that knee, come this way to show you. I'd like to show you the different angles since we're not in front of each other. Knee tracking over the toes. Make sure it's not locking in. Four, three, two, dead weight. Remember, hold it down. Eight more pulses to finish. Eight, seven, six. Keep that knee bent. Five, four, three, two, hold. Glutes are squeezing. And release, flip it over other side. We'll stretch in just a moment. We gotta hit, be symmetrical here, right? Heels together, toes apart. Nice and tall, tendu up, toe is pointed. Diagonal line between that front heel to that back big toe. Lift an arm up, bring it in front of you. Squeeze those glutes, lift and lower. Even if it's a small range of motion, if you're feeling it here, decrease that range of motion. Eight more. Oh, this is what I was looking for here. Four, three, two, hold it up. Squeeze those glutes. Make sure you're not leaning into the bar. Shoulders not sinking in, or you're not sinking your shoulder or into the bar. Pulse it out. Eight, seven. Glutes are activated here. Five, four, three, two, hold. Plie with that supporting leg. So that lifted leg, dead weight. Change my angle here. I don't mind moving around if it's going to help you get that proper form. So that knee tracks over the toe. This is dead weight. Glutes are squeezing. Chest is proud, so I'm not going forward. Four, three, two, hold it down. Little pulses to finish. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, stay strong. Three, two, and one. Slowly come back. Figure four. So bring that inside leg first. Whew. 
Back into plies now. Other side. Ooh. All right. We're going to stay at the side of the bar. Go into our second position work. So one half of the bar, about an elbow's distance from the bar. Heels together, toes apart. Tandu out. Outside again. So those heels should be a little bit wider than hip width. We want to make sure. Oops, I'm getting sweaty. I'm sliding all over. Uh, we want to make sure that we're not cuddled close to the bar. And we want to make sure we have a wider range of motion here. So, extend that arm out, second position. We're just going to start with a plie. So remember what we talked about in our warm-up, shoulders stay over the hips. Neutral spine. We're not tucking. And we're not... No squats, squats are great, but we're doing a plie, right? Knees over the toes. If you wanna add some arms, you can do that. Up to you. Maybe you just wanna keep it in second or on the hip. Make sure those knees track over toes, squeeze on the way up. Four. Three, two, last one. Hold it down for me, arms in second. Little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here. Lift that outside leg up. Little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep going. We're going to do another set of eight. 16 each leg, we're strong. We've been doing this for a couple weeks. We're only getting stronger. Woo! If it's too much, just stay here in a regular pulse. Four, three, two, hold it. Before we switch legs, we're gonna do a, a little knee pulse back. So that lifted heel, that leg, outside leg, press, press, press. Abs are in, press. Press. See how tiny it is? Doesn't feel tiny though, does it? Press. 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 Four. Three. Two. Hold. Release it. You can straighten the legs if you need to. Play it down again. Now, depending on your bar situation, you may need to just switch sides. We're going to work on the opposite leg. So both knees are going to track over the toes. No matter what one's lifted, make sure they stay lined up. One's not hinging or turning in or overextending out. Little pulses, we've got 16, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Now see if you can pop that other leg up. Maybe you can balance here. My, even my feet are sweating here, so I'm sliding on the floor. Take your balance if you can. Ooh. And then release it. So this is our last set that we go into abs. So we're going to do 16 on each side. We're up in our reps a little bit. From here, plie, push up outside leg, passe. So hips are squared, external rotation of that leg, big toe towards inside opposite knee. You can also bring it in or down. I just don't want to see a tree pose here. So big toe in a perfect world inside the opposite knee. Then we lower down. As you lower down, don't squat. Keep everything lined up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight to go. Seven, six. So keep going. Make sure as you land, you don't come here. You should land in that sandwich, right with those panes of glass. Three, two, hold at the top. Oof, I'm all off kilter now. My bar's shaking all over the place. Release it. Now swap sides. 
wider second position. So plie, passe. Make sure knees stay aligned and that we're not pressing the chest forward, putting those weight in the, the weight in the heels. Even distribution. Whew. And if it's too much coordination incorporating those arms, keep it out in a second. I want you to make sure you're also not bringing that knee in forward. Keep it here. Oops. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take your balance at the top to finish. Nice job. And release it. Stretch those quads. We're gonna go through our stretches, then we'll hit in the mat, get our abs in. Who else is gonna spend the rest of the day in the pool? Who needs responsibility, right? Get both sides. And then extend one leg back. Stretch out the calves. Other side. Why are you drinking lots of water? Then bring it forward, figure four. Whew. Other side, keep it there longer if you need it. And release it. Tuck your bars away if you can. Grab your mat. Sip on that water. Let's get our core done. We stretch it out. Slowly lower down. We go right into our double leg lifts. So, laying flat on the mat. Oops. Could you try? Oh dear. Laying flat on the mat. Shoulders down, arms by your side. Navel pulled in towards the spine. You're going to bring the legs up 90 degrees. Now, I only want you to lower down 45 degrees or as low as you can without your back arching off the mat. If you need some extra support, you can go ahead and put the hands underneath the pelvis. You need to keep that connection with the floor here. Abs are in. Shoulders down. Arms are down. Palms pressing into the mat. We lower, bring it back to 90. So don't turn it into a um, reverse crunch. So don't add that little lift there. Nice and controlled. If you feel like you're just dragging away from the mat, decrease that range of motion. Let's get into our focus here. Abs should be working the whole time here. It's a small move, right? Well, you should feel it. If you haven't, you should be feeling it now. Think about if your core is engaged. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Curl head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Little pulses up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold, rope climb, 
I need to adjust my legs here. So reach towards the opposite foot. And that shoulder lifts off the mat. Legs stay stable. Reach. Engage that core. How are we doing? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. From here, come back to center. Ten pulses again. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Get those shoulders off the mat. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold. And then lower down. Give yourself that squeeze. We're breathing, right? Maybe stir those legs around one direction. And then the other way. And then from here, we're going to go in to our crunches, leg extension crunches, and then finish with our plank. So you're going to come into your crunch position. So that foot should be lined up with your knee. And those heels press into the mat, the whole foot planted into the mat. Abs are in, stack those hands behind the head. And then we're going to extend the right leg. Should be nice and aligned with that opposite knee. Point the toe. We lift up. Wide elbows. And we're making sure that chin doesn't just get tucked into the chest. Those abs are working. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Plant that foot into the mat. Release the head. Little pulses here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold. And release. Second hand behind the head again. Extend one leg again. Lined up with opposite knee. Here we go. Sixteen. Elbows wide. And we're watching that chin. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Plant that foot. Lift it up. Ten more pulses here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it. And release. We've got a 60 second plank and now we're going to stretch it out. Let's make it count. Let's see. So whether you need a, whether you need to be on your forearms, straight arm, or on your knees. Take whatever variation you need here. Get into position, 60 seconds. Make sure we're not sticking that tush up. Tuck those hips under. Twenty seconds in, forty seconds. Now, if you're falling, losing that form, you need to stay on your knees. That's fine too. I'm slipping and sliding. I'm with you. Twenty seconds. Keep it strong. If you want to add a little dip with those knees, power up those abs, level it up, as Sierra would say. Ooh, ten seconds. I'm sliding. Five, four, three, two, and one back to child. Ooh. 
and breathe. Walk those fingertips over to one side. And then back to center. Walk your way over to the other side. Making that half circle. Back to center. From here, kind of that tabletop position. I want you to bring that right leg forward, hands frame the foot. And you can either keep your left side down or extend it back, plank position. So try not to sink in those hips. You want a slight press forward here so you can get that stretch, but don't just sink all that way into the hips. If you want to add a little bit more, you can. Something just fell on me. You can add your twist here. It's always fun. And then back to center. Bring that leg back. Leg position. Other side. Ooh. Stretch it out. And then adding the twist. If you choose. Back to center. Plank position, drop to your knees. And then we're going to come to our seated position, bottoms of the feet together. I feel like I have a bug on me. Not sure what that was. Bottoms of the feet together. You can grab the tops of your toes or the ankles. Elbows in towards the thigh. Take a nice deep inhale. And then exhale over those feet. Extend one leg out. Bring that left foot in. It doesn't matter what foot. Just one foot. Remember what it is for when you transition. Let's take a nice lateral flexion. Keep it side to side so don't hinge forward. You want to keep that shin stable into the mat. And then lift up, extend that leg, other leg comes in. Lateral flexion, try and keep that shoulder from creeping up. 